Miracy. Hello, and welcome to Consciousness Explored, where we delve into the mysteries of the human experience and consciousness. I'm your host, Melissa Deal. Having a close up window on his decline and his exit from life and the struggle that he had, that catalyzed something in me. It was something completely unexpected, and it was something of a breakdown for me about everything that I held to be true or to be so it was like turned upside down. And it really, it set me to the woods. I just started going to the woods. Consciousness Explored is the podcast for you if you are a seeker, if you enjoy diving into the nature of consciousness, and if you want to expand your consciousness and understand the impact that has on your daily life. And as I lay in that coffer and I could hear the arm around me, my consciousness expanded. My whole body levitated up. These Kundalini awakenings that just took me into this incredible place of bliss, my whole body moving, just bliss flowing up through my spine into my brain and then just out, like my awareness expanded out to the universe itself. My guests are visionary leaders, but they're also seekers like you. They're healers and shamans, scientists and coaches, spiritual and religious practitioners. I feel like the song has always been in me. I feel like the connection's always been there. There are a couple of things that I used to do as a child. One was when I was really tiny, I'd go and like squeeze in between my mum and dad in bed. And I remember singing just really quietly, really high pitch, and I'd have just tears streaming down my face. And it just felt so good. I was standing in front of his mesa. I was on a buffalo hide. I was facing east. And then all of a sudden, I just started having this vision. And I saw very clearly in front of me a native man dancing, standing in the fire. And he had this incredible sort of head to toe you know, full length feathered headdress, but all the feathers were red. And it just hit me like a bolt of light. I'm like, oh my God, I'm being given a name. I hope you'll join us every other week as we talk with these inspiring healers, teachers, and leaders and learn from their stories and expertise. And with plant medicine, I've been really circumspect about talking about it openly and I'm coming out of the closet about it because it's on the cutting edge of what's happening in the therapeutic arena, but also for people who are healthy, well, and fully functioning, looking for ways to literally expand consciousness. Mm-hmm.